morning, everybody, and welcome. Today is Wednesday, December 27th. I'm Idolina Perales filling in for Maggie, and this is Houston Happens. We've got an exciting show for you today, so let's go ahead and take a look at what's coming up today. It's Wellness Wednesday, and you'll never guess what this vending machine is selling and the technology behind it. Rich DeMuro has that in today's Tech Smart. And the biographical movie Ferrari is already out. Doug Kolk sits down with the cast and gives us an exclusive sneak peek in today's entertainment report. And lastly, we know the end of the year can be a stressful time for many of us, including me. That's why we're taking a look back at some ways you can reduce stress in a fun way. Maggie has that and more. So let's go ahead and start off with this. We're going to dive into some top talkers. It's out of the Christmas season and into Texas Bowl season. The Texas A&M Aggies didn't have to travel far for their destination this year. After missing out on a bowl game for the first time since 2015, a season ago, A&M is bowl bound, baby, and is in Houston preparing for tonight's game. As the Aggies gear up for the Texas Bowl against Oklahoma, that's going to be tonight, again, 8 p.m. at Energy Stadium. Coaches and players have been coming and going through the college station like turnstiles during the months of November and December. 19 players won't be playing in maroon and white after entering the transfer portal these past few weeks. Still, Elijah Robinson is sticking around after accepting the Syracuse defensive coordinator job to finish out his tenure as interim head coach. However, he'll be coaching a much different team than the one that he started out with earlier this season. I think it's a great opportunity to have uh, these guys' family get a chance to come watch them play, get our fans down here. You know, Aggies take care of Aggies. They travel well, so I'm excited to see all the guys that show up. Yeah, I think the biggest thing, man, is understanding these guys have been at practice these past two weeks. Get, a, get away, get down here, have a little fun. I think it's good for them. That's what bowl game is all about, man. Come here, have some fun, still get to work in and go compete when it's game day. Yeah, it has to be next man up mentality, you know. It's no different if a guy was injured or just not here. So, again, we got to adjust, and our players know that they got to step up and go play. So we're ready for those guys to do that. I know uh, last time we were here, we won it, and we won the game as well. So we just had to go play the game and see what happens. Oh, yeah, they definitely are going to be showing up. Now, the game, again, is tonight at Energy, so you may want to avoid that South Loop, everyone. Well, now to this, the woman whose hips... They don't lie, Shakira. She was honored at her hometown in Colombia with a 21-foot statue of herself. Hip flex also in there. You can see that. That's super cool. Well, here is the sculpture. It was made by Yino Marquez and the students of the District Art School. Now, on social media, it's the city's mayor praising the artist's talent and wishing for her continued inspiration for the women and girls of the Caribbean. Super cool. Well, now, let me ask you this. What would you do with $685 million? Well, one lucky winner is going to take all of that home. The Powerball jackpot continues to go up after no tickets hit all the numbers during the Christmas Day drawing. The prize is now $685 million. This is the fourth Powerball jackpot to exceed half a million dollars this year. So good luck, everybody. And now let's go ahead and talk to our good friend Kerrigan because I kind of feel like we finally lucked out when it comes to the weather, Kerrigan. Leading up to Christmas, did you really feel like it was the season? I, I, I couldn't get into it. rainy and cold leading up to it but now it, it definitely does we have that crisp cool air mm -hmm. on top for today and it's already a little cool out there this morning i was bundled up leaving the house <laughs> me <temperatures>, too <laughs> yeah temperatures in the 40s and 50s but it's only going to get colder really so you think we're going to be having to wear coats here for the next several days yes in the morning yeah. or and we can get rid of them in the afternoon or just all day what do you think i, I had it on all day yesterday you did <laughs> yes even inside coats inside <laughs> current <laughs> temperatures like i said 40s and 50s out there we do have our day planner showing that sunshine holding steady all throughout our afternoon so even though it is cool today we're going to jump up into the 60s by this afternoon which i don't know about you but to me 60s still requires a jacket clear skies by the evening with temperatures falling back into those 50s we may mentioned the, the bowl game in town today. The weather should be all right for tailgating there. But if you are going to be out and about, again, jackets needed. Futurecast showing cloud cover, minimal cloud cover to start off the day on our Thursday. Clear skies for the afternoon and night on Thursday. And Friday, clear skies throughout all of our day and especially by the night where our temperatures are going to be quite cold. Multiple locations will see 
near freezing temperatures. Sunshine for the upcoming week all the way into next year. We can officially say that now that uh, the new year is next week. We do have those overnight lows in the 30s for several days leading up to Saturday and Sunday with a 20% chance of rain for New Year's Eve and then clearing back up on Monday. So Kerrigan, 20% chance of maybe a spotty shower, but I will tell you this, 100% chance I will be in bed by 10 p.m. Um, I don't think I can say that about myself. <laughs> I love New Year's you Eve. You do? Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. So, so if you know where the best spots are to spend New Year's Eve in town, let me know. <laughs> okay. I won't yep. know anything I will not you. be hearing from you, Dylan, <laughs> no, that one. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Kerrigan. We have a lot more Houston Happens coming up after the break. Things are heating up in the courtroom. Three judges are better than one. Triple the judges, triple the action. Hot Bench, next on CW39 Houston. Most insurance companies won't pay without a fight. No matter how bad the wreck is, their goal is to pay you less. And what do I do? I hit hard. My client had a traumatic brain injury. I got him a million nine hundred thirteen thousand five hundred dollars in his pocket. Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer, fights for you. 713-777-4000. Call now. Brady insurance companies are not unstoppable. I am. If you're buzzed and doing this to make yourself feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Hi, I'm Lee Trevino. Most people know me for winning six PGA championships. With my bum knee, I started thinking I was gonna have to trade my club in for a cane. Then I discovered arthritis knee pain centers. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers has cutting-edge, image-guided treatments that place a natural lubricating gel directly into your affected joints. This FDA-approved, non-surgical procedure replenishes the missing cushioning fluid to provide you with pain relief, comfort, and improved mobility without surgery or downtime. It's covered by Medicare and most private insurance. We've helped relieve the pain for thousands of our patients. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers relieve my pain and change my life. They got me back in the game again, baby. Call them now and schedule your free knee pain assessment. Get the pain relief you deserve today. With four locations in Houston, call 800-925-6863. That's 800-925-6863. This is the People's Court. You can do a U-turn if it's safe to do a U-turn. Why would you have to go to a crosswalk to make a U-turn? We don't have enough room for that. Then don't make the U-turn! Today at 11 on CW39 Houston. Hi, I'm Art Rascone. During my four decades reporting the news, I've seen people overcome pain, hardship, and tragedy. And in my view, the best path forward is to let those who can help do what they do best. If you've been injured, call Terry Bryant. They've been fighting for the people of Houston for as long as I've been covering the news. Let them help you find the way forward. You deserve justice. You deserve Terry Bryant. Call 713-973-8888. All right, welcome back everyone. Well, the holidays and the end of year, yeah, it can be a stressful time for many of us. So let's take a look back at Maggie's idea to relieve some of that stress in a really fun way. And I love your title. Tell everybody what your title is. So I'm the guest experience manager. And yes. tell us about what we could experience here. So um, at Slumu, so of course, we're a new location here in Houston. Yeah. So we now have New York, we have Chicago, we have Atlanta, and now we're in the beautiful city of Houston, Texas. Uh -huh. um, so we have things such as giant slingshots. We have things, we have a Slumu Falls where you can get slimed. So that, so for our, for our fun parents and, you know, keeping those those older kids yeah. at 90 uh, retro slime. I was thinking, yes. like, Nicola, is was it at Nickelodeon? It, is, get it is very similar to that, yes. Oh my gosh. Very similar. Now here I am playing with this, mm -hmm. and I absolutely love this. I could do this, and it smells good. Yes, so we have over 60 different scents you can choose from, so when they're going through their DIY bar at the end of the experience, mm. you get to make your own slime. You have a multitude of colors. It's absolutely amazing. This smells like butter toffee. What do you think? Oh, I think that is butter toffee. Mm. Yes. And I asked so you, do kids eat it? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like always so have to tell them, do not eat the slime, even though it smells amazing. Oh my gosh, so what 
is it about slime that people love so much? So, I mean, a good thing about slime is that, one, it brings the joy out in just everyone, from the youngest to the oldest. Um, it helps with anxiety and depression yeah. and things of that nature. So it's just always fun. It's full of joy. This is good. This would be like a good stress reliever. Let me Definitely. smell it. Can I smell it? Of course. Oh. Doesn't it smell good? Like an orange creamsicle. Yes. All right, so tell everybody, this isn't just for kids, though. Definitely not. Definitely not. Slumu is all-inclusive of all ages. Um, so we do birthday parties. Um, we do business events. All types of things. What is your favorite part about it? Um, honestly, it's the joy. That is that's that is our brand. That is the biggest thing. I love seeing the smile on the children's faces, on the adults' faces, that they when they come with their children. We have uh, we had a grandma come. She celebrated her 83rd birthday oh at one of our locations. So it's literally for anyone of all ages. I love that. And it's a great thing because a lot of people have, you know, family in town. They exactly. don't know what to do. So this is a great activity for the entire family. Definitely. It's also, oh no, I dropped my, oh, oh, it's really oozing. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, this is so much fun. And it's fun, like I said, for all ages. Obviously, I'm oh, yes. 40 and having a super time with this. Now, how's the thing? Do we just show up? Should we reserve a spot? How does so, that all work? We always say if you're just going to come in on a regular day, um, you can definitely always just stop in and do it. Um, however, the best way, uh, we do tickets online. We do them in 15-minute slots, so everyone doesn't have to be crowded in. You can kind of pace yourself, and everything's going to be uh, self-paced. And is this here permanently? Or is we it are a permanent fixture. We're not going anywhere, friend. Tell everybody where you are. So we're going to be located in the Marquee Center, um, right out there off of Katy Freeway. I always say uh, maybe about two blocks down from the Ikea. Okay. I absolutely love that. So again, you have all of the information over on your screen. We will also have it over on our website, CW39.com. Slumu, I'm telling you, that was so much fun. And I just love your energy. You were meant for this. Continue to shine, my friend. All right, now I gotta check me out some slow, slow moo. All right, hey, another stress reliever. You ever thought about this one? Just watching a movie. In today's entertainment report, Doug Kalk reports on the film directed by Michael Mann starring Adam Driver, kinda like him a lot, and Penelope Cruz. Well, this is the best time of year for film because the films released now are most likely to be in contention for awards, and that holds true with Michael Mann's Ferrari. Two objects cannot occupy the same point in space at the same moment in time. People seem to be really affected by uh, the movie. You have perhaps a crisis of identity. Am I a sportsman? I've seen all his movies and always wanted to work with him and consider him one of the masters in cinema and was very curious about what his system was going to be on set. And so? You're going broke. How? You spend more than you make. So what do I do? Win the Mille Milla, Enzo. Or you are out of business. Michael really wanted someone who is a racer first, which is why the movie starts that way. That to him was the key to how to play the character. Or a competitor. If you get into one of my cars, get in the wind. And there were some days where we would do many, many takes, and there were some days where we would do a couple, and he got what he wanted, and he knew what he wanted, and, and I think that is part of the magic of Michael, is he's so intuitive. You should assign me control of your stock. I have to have all the cards in my hand. Well, half the cards are in my hand. I felt very lucky when I got that phone call. You were supposed to save him! I think people were expecting that it was going to be about the team and that it was going to be non-stop racing and were surprised and uh, in a good way that it was character driven. Ferrari is in theaters now. With your entertainment report, I'm Doug Kolk. I mean, you gotta love you some Adam Driver, right? Well, let's talk about another leading man, Bradley Cooper. He can do it all. He writes, directs, and stars in the new drama, Maestro. Dean Richards tells us more. Summer doesn't sing, and nothing seems to be. A surefire Oscar contender arrives this week on Netflix. Bradley Cooper writes, directs, and stars as legendary conductor Leonard Bernstein in the drama Maestro. Carrie Mulligan co-stars, I think it's the best movie of the year. See it on Netflix now. We're gonna have to fight. 
Director Zack Snyder jumps from the DC Universe to a universe all his own in the new sci-fi epic Rebel Moon Part 1, A Child of Fire. It follows a young woman with special powers, leading a ragtag group of rebels in a quest for redemption and revenge. Streaming begins Friday on Netflix. Percy Jackson, your father needs your help. The master bolt has been stolen. For new streaming series this week, the beloved Percy Jackson series comes to Disney+. Plus. Percy Jackson and the Olympians follows the son of Poseidon as he learns to harness the powers of the Greek gods. See it now. On Peacock, there's season two of the drama Dr. Death, focusing on a doctor whose so-called medical miracles hide a dark secret. See it starting Thursday. I said English, French. I said English, yeah, oui. I said okay. Um, uh, and it's a big week for comedy specials. Former Daily Show host Trevor Noah reflects on his time since suddenly walking away from the hit program. Trevor Noah, Where I Was, is on Netflix now. And there's a new stand-up special from comedian, actor, author Gary Goleman. Gary Goleman, born on third base, begins streaming tomorrow on Max. Well, you can always get my movie reviews and home video picks sent right to your phones every week by texting the word Dean to 97999. All right, thank you so much. Well, which Texas city is the best place for celebrating New Year's Eve? Jane King is at the NASDAQ with that and more in today's Texas Business Report. Hello, Texas. Members of USAA Federal Savings Bank are being warned to look out for scammers who are spoofing the company's phone number to steal private information. Experts advise customers to never give their information to anyone who has called, texted, or emailed. If you receive a suspicious call, hang up and contact your bank. Well, the price of food in Texas is up 5.1% over the past year. That was in the middle of states in terms of price gains. According to Consumer Affairs, the rise in prices of grains, beans, and pasta drove Texas costs up. Meanwhile, 53% of Texas residents feel very stressed about inflation. That's the fourth highest in the U.S. That was higher than the national average of 47%. And in an article done by The Travel, they listed the top 14 U.S. cities that hold the best annual New Year's Eve parties. And one that topped the list was Austin. It says the ball drop that's held in the city makes it a party destination, whether it's held at Wingate by Wyndham or on 6th Street, while it had listed San Antonio in their top 20. From the NASDAQ Market Site, I'm Jane King with your Texas Business Report. Ooh, the fabulous Jane King. Love that. Well, a Central Texas teacher battling cancer, she will not stop showing up for her kids. So they've shown up for her in a big way. Get the tissues ready. Brianna Hollis tells us all about this touching story from a Texas school community that's willing to do whatever it takes to help their teacher fight her disease. When Tammy Sheard first got diagnosed with cancer, her Lampasas ISD students read a story about a girl with leukemia. She makes a thousand paper cranes and she hopes that when she gets to the, the thousandth one that she'll be cured from cancer. So the kiddos started folding away, making their own cranes. An easy thought for the young students to cling to. In their minds, a straightforward way to help as the gravity of Mrs. Sheard's aggressive cancer proved tough for the entire district to bear. And they decided that they wanted to make me a thousand paper cranes so that hopefully I could be cured from cancer. And it was the sweetest thing. They were just making cranes all the time. So the kids would make them during the day or at night. They would take paper home at night and then they'd bring cranes back to her the next day. And then she would stay after school and hang all of them from her ceiling. Mrs. Sheard's battle began about two years ago. She went to the doctor with serious stomach pain, got a colonoscopy, and got a call on Thanksgiving that year that she had cancer. During that first school year that I battled cancer, um, the only days I missed were the days I went to the clinic to get chemo. And they would send me home with a chemo bag that was, you know, I'd wear in like a little fanny pack attached to my chest. She wore that to class so she wouldn't have to miss as many days. Her entire first year with cancer, she only missed 10 days of school. As the cancer spread, she took a new position this year, switching from fifth grade math to helping out with the special education program. That way, she'd still be in the classroom, but she'd have two other teachers with her if she needed to step out. I knew things were getting harder for me, and I had always taken her education into account, always. Um, but realistically, I knew this year would probably be harder since it was going back to my liver. You know, my doctor told me, 
a few weeks ago, you know, you're starting to run out of options. As she fought, the school kept finding ways to step up for her, trying to ease the financial burden as the mother of two fights for her life. Right now, she drives to Houston for treatments and appointments every week, sometimes multiple times a week. So in addition to medical bills... So we're up to... $120 just in gas, you know, not to mention the $30 in toll fees that I paid, the $20 in parking. The school made a GoFundMe, held a popcorn fundraiser, and sold t-shirts. On Wednesdays, students would wear those t-shirts to class. We are so, so appreciative of that. And Mrs. Sheard's mark on the school wasn't only made by her dedication and inspirational fight. After going through chemotherapy for half the school year, I ended up with the highest scores in the entire school district. And so even now, she hasn't given up. This week on The John Ankerberg Show, what happens when people are given an audio Bible and hear Jesus speak to them in their own language for the very first time? They say, well, the people just begin to weep. They listen. And then they say, when it stops, they just are so excited. Jesus speaks our language. Watch The John Ankerberg Show each Sunday morning at 9 a.m. right here on KIAH-TV. Here's hoping we can all be home for the holidays. Not really. Celebrate like only the Jeep brand can. With everything you could ever wish for, including Jeep Grand Cherokee, the official vehicle of winter. Join the family that lets you go anywhere and do anything. Jeep, there's only one. Right now, during the Jeep Wrap-Up the Year event, Texas residents get 10% below MSRP and no monthly payments for 90 days on the 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee and Grand Cherokee L. Don't miss this great offer. Great news, Houston. Medicare annual enrollment may be over, but our five-star rating means you can enroll year-round in a plan that gives you more. We've increased our dental benefit up to $3,500. Our vision network now includes a variety of popular retailers. And with OnePass, our expanded fitness benefit, you have access to nearly 600 fitness locations all across Greater Houston. There are even flex card benefits and OTC allowances to help with everyday medical expenses. Plus, unlike original Medicare, we cover so much more than just hospital and medical insurance all at no additional cost. No wonder we've been rated five stars by Medicare for eight years running. More access, expanded benefits, year-round enrollment. Get it all with Kelsey Care Advantage. Enroll now, 713-442-7946. Thinking of selling your house? I'm JR with SellTheJR.com and I'll buy your house as is. I'll give you a cash offer within 24 hours. SellTheJR.com makes selling your home easy. We buy houses in any condition. We can work through any situation. With SellTheJR.com, there are no strangers walking through your house, no closing costs, no commissions, and no repairs. Go to SellTheJR.com for your free, no obligation cash offer. In today's Wellness Wednesday, vending machines, yeah, they get a bad rap for selling unhealthy food, but what about a salad vending machine? Rich Romero talks to the founders of Farmer's Fridge about their network of fresh vending machines in airports, offices, hospitals, and the tech behind keeping salads fresh. When I first saw Farmer's Fridge at the airport, I'll admit it, I was kind of skeptical. After all, the idea of a salad from a vending machine didn't seem right. But now that I've tried it, I'm sold on the idea of more healthy options in more places, available 24-7. Fresh food from a vending machine. Really, the idea is it's the world's smallest restaurant. While it might sound silly, it's an idea that spawned an entire business. When you see your idea here at one of the most iconic arenas in America, how do you feel? Uh, it feels amazing. So, like, the idea from the beginning has 
how do you get fresh food everywhere? Luke Saunders is founder and CEO of Farmer's Fridge, a growing network of smart vending machines stocked with freshly made salads, wraps, bowls, and breakfast items. I was a traveling salesman. I was looking for healthy options on the go. The only options were fast food and a gas station. And I, I just figured if we could get food to people faster, we could make fresh, healthy food more accessible. Ten years later, Farmer's Fridge has hundreds of vending machines nationwide, inside airports, hospitals, schools, and stadiums. Food is prepped in Chicago, then trucked overnight. An algorithm determines where food goes to ensure peak freshness. Every day we don't know where the food is going. So at 6 o'clock we run a cost function algorithm, basically a fancy way to tell us where to send all the products. And then we load it on our own refrigerated trucks with our own drivers, and they travel all across the country to fill fridges. Clear fridges and containers let you see the fresh products. Order from the screen or your phone. Shake it up and eat right from the recyclable jar or grab a plate. We've got the farmer's fridge, elote, salad, and from a vending machine. Dressing tastes fresh. Everything's crunchy, crispy, nice mix of flavors. Really good. The 24-7 selection and reasonable prices sure beats a candy bar or sweets. So if it's just as convenient, if it's affordable, if it tastes great, you stop thinking about whether or not it's healthy and you just want to buy farmer's fridge. Farmer's Fridge actually has a patent on their just-in-time technology, which considers millions of options before deciding where and when to send their food. By the way, the salads I got were about $10 each. If you want to learn more about Farmer's Fridge, you can go to my website. It is richontech.tv. I'm Rich Demuro, and you are Tech Smart. I know I really want to be on board on this because whenever you go to the airport, like all you see is fast food and you want something nice, healthy and light before you get on a plane with a bunch of people. I, I don't know. I might have to try it. Rich may be right, but we're going to look for one at the airport next time I fly. We'll see how it goes. All right. Well, that's it for today's Houston Happens. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Maggie will be back tomorrow. And in case you want to know anything about that was showcased in today's Newscast, please go on over to our website, cw39.com.